the question was, you know, where is Nibiru? The answer was, it's actually inside the solar system right now. It's within Neptune, Pluto's orbit, um, but it's farther away than Jupiter's. It has to stay farther away than Jupiter's uh, because it is as large as Jupiter. And the composition of the of the planet itself, from what Cindy got, has a lot of iron in it. It probably would, if we were on the same density, exert even more gravitational effect than Jupiter does. But it is on a, um, a slightly different vibrational frequency and it has to be that way uh, because, you know, everything could potentially fall yeah. apart. You could have chaos with planets flying outside of their orbits. It, it would just be catastrophic. So what we got from Laurel and the Galactic Federation is uh, you don't have to worry about Jupiter coming close. I mean, Jupiter, Nibiru coming close enough and affecting our gravitational fields and all. Um, that's not the case. It's not going to be allowed to come that close where it does affect us. So you don't have to worry about that. It's not going to be allowed. And again, when you look at, again, the Anunnaki and this planet, it's a low fourth density planet. So we are rising up to the point where at some point in time, it very well may be visible to us. Uh, at the moment, perhaps people are catching glimpses of it. People that have uh, higher perceptive abilities and, and sometimes when we use uh, cameras and things of the like, if our perception is of a certain uh, you know, ability level, we could actually get impressions of it. So it very well, people might be able to be getting uh, some photos, but that would be very rare. And so, you know, like training a telescope exactly where it is wouldn't show necessarily anything to us right now, but we're coming closer to its frequency. So at some point in the future, it very well may uh, become visible, but it won't be cataclysmic. It won't come in and wreak havoc that's not going to be allowed. It would be kind of akin to like if you take a digital camera and you get a picture of an orb. So that's kind of how it would be able to be picked up. It would be rare and it would be unusual, but it could happen. Yeah, it would be kind of other real. Uh, again, think in terms of the uh, in ghost cities in China, things like that again. So yes, it is actually in our solar system right now. Uh, we have also gotten that there's many other planets that are just up a little bit in density that are here in our solar system, so that we don't know of. And the masses of, of the populace of the Earth are not aware of these planets, but they are there, and they are habited. And there's many beings uh, that are living lives on them right now, just at a slightly different spectrum, a slightly different uh, <coughs> vibrational frequency than us right here and right now but we are moving up they're not yeah this is something we have to keep in mind and we have to hold on to our sovereignty hold on to ourselves find our center be strong and stable because that's just going to translate to how everything turns out in this country yes and so you know again to recap uh, what's coming up you know could have global ramifications but it seems like it's really focused on the us of a and has a lot to do with our own internal strife, geopolitical, as well as the control structure. Be extra prepared. Um, we are in historical days. You know, timelines can still be averted if we wake up enough people. So please do make sure you're subscribed to these channels. I will be adding new sources. We're looking at a whole bunch of other places to put videos. And we will be putting videos in many more places going forward. Uh, but please do subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and share everywhere. We have to wake up people to what's really going on on planet Earth as far as the bigger picture. And the fact that, like we said, they're stuck. They cannot go any farther than where they're at. We're going to go up to the point where we may see them visibly and be on the same sort of density for a while. And then we're going to be seeing them in the rearview mirror going bye-bye. And we'll be saying bye-bye. Yep. And that will be a welcome thing. Yes, it will. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, as always, thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. And also thanks for checking out Medicinal Foods, some wonderful products there. When you use our link, it does help support the channel. God bless and namaste. Namaste.